All right, it's day three. Let's get right to it. We're going to start with our sounds. I, soul, der, ger. You, pull, or, R, er, E, er, Cl, er, E, full, fur, A, sm, s or z. O, sp, e, sk. It's a lot of sounds. All right, here we go with that stack of words. Women, father, your brother, school, mother. One does boy could would thought very there. Remember that one from yesterday? Read or read were after over told both to head should work who old woman don't won't cold other every to toward. Now, before we jump into reading today, there's a few things that I want to go back and review with you. Now, I'm hoping you can see this. Remember those little marks right there. Remember, those are quotation marks. So it looks like that is something that D says. I want to read about sports, D says. So when they write it in a book, of course, when I'm talking, I don't say, hi, how are you, says Miss Donahue, because you can hear it in person. But when you're reading it, they put it in quotation marks so that you know that someone's talking and exactly what they're saying. Now, over here, we have some quotation marks. When the person stops talking, we have them. And you see that little thing right there? It looks like they're asking a question because there's a question mark. Read about sports. And remember how when we, when we um, read a question, our voice kind of goes up at the end? So when you're reading, make sure that you're looking at the punctuation so you know what your voice should sound like. So you're not reading like a robot or reading too fast. All right, today's the day when I will let you read it and then I will read it after you. And remember, we are reading Anna's Book Club by Lucy Bledsoe, illustrated by Linda Pierce. Anna's Book Club. She's got her hands around her mouth. I bet she's yelling. Heads up, everyone. Anna yells. Who wants to be in my book club? And tell what he's thinking about. Oh, 
I do, Carl says, tapping the top of his head. I want to read about storms and thunder. I should have known that from looking in the thinking bubble. Let's see those lines. Anna shakes her head. But I have read about storms and thunder. I'm guessing I'm making a prediction by the thinking bubble. I think I know what he wants to read about. I will be in your club, Dexter says. Can we read about insects? They are bugs with a head and two back parts. They have wings. I want to find out about them. But I have read about insects, Anna says. She is getting upset. Gee, I wonder what she wants to read about. I want to read about sports, Dee says. Read about sports, Anna says, shaking her head. Forget it. I don't want to. This isn't going to work. I am going home. What is the problem? Carl asks. We want to be in your book club, but we want to help pick the books too. Dexter and Dee nod, nod their heads. I think that's only fair. She's got all those ideas going through her head. Forget it. It is my club, Anne, Anne says. I have, I have read about thunder and insects. I don't like sports. And there's all the friends standing around. Let's think, Dexter says. Can we take turns picking the books? What can, what can we read that everyone will like? Asks Dee. Can we think of what to read about? Okay, Anne says, I just got upset. I bet we can pick books that no one has read yet that all of us will like. You know what I just realized? I think I've been calling her Anna. I'll bet you caught that mistake a long time ago, didn't you? It's not Anna's book club. It's Anne's book club. Silly teacher. Even we make mistakes. We just have to put our heads into it, Carl says. When do we want our book club to meet? And 
after school is a good time, Anne says. We can pick other books when we meet. Everyone bring one book to share. Everyone yells, yes. I'm glad to see that they were able to work out that problem and still have a book club. How did the children feel at the beginning of the story? I think all the children were pretty excited, don't you? But how did Anne feel as the story went on? Remember, she said she was getting upset. How do all of the children feel at the end of the book? Did you use the word relieved or excited or happy? I think all those words would work. They figured out that they had a problem and they also figured out a way that they could solve that problem. How did they figure that out? They had to stop, do some thinking, and realize that everybody had a part to play in the book club, didn't they? All right. Now, if you're interested, there is another book that goes along with the words and the sounds and the syllables that we've been learning. So if you would like to download the book called Ants, Moths, and Wasps, that would be an extra book that you could scan into your phone or tablet and read for fun. Plus, if you were in a book club, it would give you something to talk about as far as insects. Now, we have our sentence to write today, and our sentence is, do you go to school? Ugh, I don't like that sentence today because we know that we're stuck at home, aren't we? Do you, do you go to school? Let me say that one more time because I might have said it wrong the first time. Do you go to school? You do right here. All right. First word has to start with a capital letter. Do. You remember how to spell you? Go. Make sure you leave that space. Two. Do you remember how to spell school? I don't know if I have that card handy. By the time I dig through, I can just help you spell it. I bet you already got it, don't you? S. C H O O L. That would be one that we would look up on the sight word wall if we were at school. Do you go to school? Oh, I heard my voice go up. What's that mean? That's right. We have to put a question mark. All right. Maybe you can form your own little book club. Maybe you can use your pets, your brothers and sisters, other parts of your family. Maybe you have connections online where you can do a Google Meet or a Zoom or something like that and start your own book club. Until then, enjoy reading.